Hi there, what's causing this F-75 fault on this Valen? Reset, let's go. The first thing I do is I ask the customer if they've noticed any leaks. How many times do they top off their boiler? So the customer has been topping off their boiler all the time. They've noticed the pressure rise and once the heating goes off, the pressure drops again. So this automatically points me towards the expansion vessel. I check the PRV as well. So as you can see, I've already drained down and I've started pumping up the vessel. That's the vessel all pumped up to one millibar. I then put some leak detection fluid on there just to make sure that the Schrader valve isn't leaking. No bubbles. Now I go through to change the PRV. I unscrew it from the bottom. Once the PRV starts leaking, it often disturbs the seating and will never close properly again. So a PRV and expansion vessel issue normally go hand in hand. So if you're gonna pump up the expansion vessel, you might as well change the PRV. Get a rag ready at the bottom there because a bit of water will come out and you just pull it out once you've unscrewed it from the bottom. Now I'm just gonna clean the seat in, ready for the new PRV to go in. Once it's all silicon's uh, greased up, I grease up the uh, grommet at the bottom there as well, just so that slides through. And then it's literally just a push fit And then you can put the clip back in now. This bit can be a bit fiddly, so sometimes it is good to use uh, a needle nose pliers just to kind of get it into position. Before you put it all the way in, make sure you push the PRV as far back as you can, and always just try to pull it out again with quite a bit of force. I'm sure that that's in now. And now I just tighten up the bottom. Tighten up the drain off. And then now we're gonna fill it up. We're gonna go on to engineering mode, which you scroll down to engineer installer and the code is 17. So I go to 17. I then go to test programs and we'll go to the mid position, which is P06 uh, filling mode. We then fill up at the bottom and keep an eye on the pressure gauge. So that's filling up nicely. We fill it up to in between the green, which is about 1.5. Shut it all off. And then what I'll do is I'll run the boiler for a while and just let all the air out. 